Hugh K.'s Byrne, actor and iconic Mad Max villain, dies age 73. Mad Max actor and iconic screen villain Hugh K.'s Byrne has passed away age 73. He's best known for two roles in one franchise, the gas-guzzling, blood-splattered and highly influential Mad Max saga. 1979 saw him cast as Toe Cutter, the gang leader who terrorized Mel Gibson's title character in the low-budget first flick. With his shock of raccoon-like hair, Kay's Byrne made an instant impression. The film launched Gibson into the world stage, but Max Ratansky's nemesis got a lot of attention too. Director George Miller spotted Kay's Byrne in another tire-screeching Aussie release, Stone, from 1974. He didn't forget about his charismatic collaborator, giving him a call when 2015's Mad Max Fury Road was in the offing. The $100 million plus production revived the series in spectacular fashion. Toe Cutter was scary, yet new character and Morton Joe arrived from people's worst nightmares. His piercing eyes and rock star do set above a cyborg-like mask spelled trouble for Tom Hardy's Max and Charlize Theron's Furiosa. Despite his advancing age, he was still a force of nature. A piece from The Independent at the time refers to his bear-like frame and mane of white hair. Keyes Burns' view of Miller's monstrous creation seemed philosophical. He called him a renaissance man who was simply trying to bring order into an apocalyptic world. This chimes with who the actor was behind the scenes. Keyes Burns reportedly cared deeply about humankind and the environment. A 2020 snap showed him wearing a mask with an Immortant Joe design. His upbringing was about as far from the Australian outback as someone could get. He was born in the city of Srinagar, India in 1947. Part of Jammu and Kashmir, the territory was under the British Raj at the time. His British parents moved to the UK, where the young Keyes Byrne grew into a respected stage star. He trod the boards with the Royal Shakespeare Company between the late 1960s and early 70s, working with famed director Peter Brook on a Midsummer Night's Dream, took him to Australia in 1973. He fell in love with the place and made it his home. The small, then big screen beckoned. Stone was his movie debut. The following year, he appeared in The Man from Hong Kong, an early attempt to mix chop fight sequences with an American action movie style. The director was Brian Trenchard Smith, a noted Ozploitation director, making his debut. Keyes Byrne went on to make such fare as disaster movie The Chain Reaction, 1980, alongside Mad Max star Steve Bisley. He also featured in less OTT dramas like 1984's Strikebound and For Love Alone, 1986, starring Sam Neill. The latter was Naomi Watts' first film. Another notable part was as the title character in the 1920s political drama Kangaroo in 1987. On TV, he played Grunchik in acclaimed sci-fi series Farscape. The star nearly became part of the DC universe when George Miller planned a Justice League motion picture. The role of Martian Manhunter was his before Miller decided against the idea. Keysburn passed away on Tuesday, leaving a wife, Christina. No cause of death has been specified at time of writing. In addition to acting, he also directed and painted, among other pursuits. Trenchard Smith broke the news. His life was governed by his sense of oneness of humanity, he wrote on Facebook. We will miss his example and his friendship. Charlize Theron posted on Twitter, It's amazing you were able to play an evil warlord so well because you are such a kind, beautiful soul. We are still here, director Tim Goganhan called him an unsung hero of Aussie cinema, adding he was an absolutely wonderful human who fought very hard for environmental and humanitarian issues.